let's strengthen our glutes and our hamstrings. Put a band above your knees if you'd like. Get your arms out and you're going to put the back of the chair right by your shoulder blades a little bit lower. Drop your butt down, squeeze up. Drop your butt down, squeeze up. Make sure you're at 90 degrees with your, with your knees and your feet. Keeping your chest open. You can repeat this 10 times. Lay on the floor, smush your lower back into the floor. Tap your feet down, the further you go down, the harder it is. Get to 90 degrees, lift your butt up, squeeze your butt, hold for at least a second, and come back down. Tap down, tap back up. Starting off with about five reps. If you can get to 10, that's excellent, but this is a very hard routine, so start with five. Okay, get a towel, lift your butt off of the floor, slide in and out. See if you can do this at least five reps. Keep your core engaged. Okay, find a chair, put your feet on the chair, push your heels on the front of the chair. Squeeze all the way up. Push your feet into the chair. I'm using a band around the top of my knees. This is just gonna help contract a little bit more. Repeat this 10 times. Okay, super simple. We're just gonna do some air squats, but notice that I'm pointed outwards with my toes. I'd like to get a little bit more of my glute max. And you're gonna also feel this in your inner thighs. If you feel this more in the front of your thighs, we wanna release our hip flexors first. You could do about 10 reps of this. Okay. This is sped up just a little bit, but I wanted to show you a way you can do it. If the squats before are a little bit hard, start by using a chair. Okay, these become a little bit harder, single leg. You're going to lift your butt up, drawing the opposite leg that's not on the chair up towards the ceiling. You're gonna do five each side. Lift your butt, squeezing your butt at the top, engaging your abs, ensuring you're not having a huge arch in your lower back. Repeat five to 10 times. <laughs> 